usfcougars.com with University of Sioux Falls head women's basketball coach Travis Traphagen. His team has opened the season at 10 and 2, 6 and 2 in league play. Uh, Trap, uh, welcome. Uh, thanks for coming by. Talk about you had a pre, you had a weekend where uh, road weekend of one and one. Um, you almost came back on and got Wayne at the end, and then you got a pretty big win um, over Augustana, uh, our main rival. Talk about those two games, would you? Yeah, you know, coming back from Christmas break, <clears throat> we had a really good kind of three and a half days of practice um, and thought our kids were really prepared. And, and we came out and, and played really poorly um, against Wayne State. You know, one thing we do a really good job of is not turn basketball over. And we turned over a ton of times against Wayne State and found ourselves in a big deficit. And I give our kids a lot of credit. We battled back and made it a game, got it down to within three points with about three to play. Um, and just didn't have enough in the tank to be able to get back and win that basketball game. And all the credit goes to Wayne. Uh, they were, for 40 minutes, the better basketball team. We were probably the better team for one quarter. But unfortunately, in this league, you can't play one quarter of basketball and expect to win. Um, and I was a little bit nervous going into, because of the turnovers that we had, a little bit nervous going into Saturday's game, playing Augustana. They're turning people over at an alar alarming rate. I think about 22 turnovers a game uh, this far. And, so, you know, we have a short turnaround to be able to get back and play a, a rival game that's at the arena. And, and quite honestly, we came out with some poise. We had saw some stuff on film that we thought we could attack with some ball screen actions. And, and it's funny how when you see the basketball go in, you know, we jumped out to 11 nothing lead. And, and we knew it. the game was far from over. Augie's really explosive and very, very veteran this year. They have a lot of the same kids back from last year's. Uh, team that we played in a conference championship game and you know we, we just you know played with some poise first quarter I thought we were really good hit five or six threes second quarter we got a little stagnant um, and honestly in the third quarter built a 14 point lead I believe going into the fourth quarter and and honestly we had a had a layup right at the end of the third quarter that we missed a wide open layup and the very first possession we get that Augie had we got a steal and we had a transition wide open layup that we missed. I mean, we could have been 18, been up 18, and almost kind of closed the deal. Uh, but we, we, we didn't play with unbelievable poise down the stretch. That we, we, we ended up, I believe, with 14 turnovers on the game, and I believe eight of those came in the in the fourth quarter. So I'll give Augie a lot of credit. They battled back, um, but we made some big free throws. And any time that you win a rival game, it's a big game. You know, and truthfully. I've told everybody, I think that's probably for us one of the hardest road trips on the women's basketball side. And, and I mean it, it's not necessarily in terms of travel. You know, Augie just down the street in Wayne's an hour and a half away. But those are just two teams that are very, very good um, on their home floors. And both of them were picked in the top five, I believe, in the conference. So, you know, you know as much as it's disappointing losing one game, you know, I think if you ask most coaches in our league, you know, on that road trip, you would take a split. So... Now the important thing is coming this week, where we're getting back at home, that, that you make sure that you protect your home floor and hopefully win a couple. Trap, you've coached here. We just found out that you had you had coached your 250th game when you uh, uh, de defeated Augie 69-62 at the arena the other night. You're 166 and 84. Can you reflect quickly on what uh, what all that means? Yeah, you know, crazy to think I've been having 250 games but then you look at guys in our league like Kurt Fredrickson who's won eight or nine hundred games whatever that record was you know so you know it's a great place I'm, I'm really proud of where the program's at you know because you know most people going through a transition you know I, I always looked at it in little s segments that we took over and had to rebuild the program and in four short years we were able to break the school record and have 27 wins and then we find out we're going D2, and it's almost kind of a little bit like starting over again to get a Division II level athlete. And then in those four years after that, after the transition year, we got back to 27. And now I think the big thing is, is great programs are consistent. You know, you don't have one good year and then fall off the face of the earth and hopefully try to get back. And, and that's where I'm really proud of this program, where we've, where we've gotten it to, and, and hopefully we're able to be able to maintain. But... I appreciate our administration giving us scholarships, giving us the things that we need to be able to do to be able to compete. Because this league, you know, is is very good, and for us to be able to be ten and two 
at this point. I don't know if a lot of fans would have thought we would have been there. And to be honest with you, I don't know if the head coach would have told you that, that I would have thought that we'd have been there. We just lost so much off of last year's team. And it wasn't that we didn't have talent, but it was unknown of the roles I talked a lot about early of, of who's going to step up and who's going to be some of those leaders on our team. So it's been a lot of fun thus far, but we know, you know, honestly, being, being 10 and 2, playing 12 games, we still, we're kind of at the halfway point. You know, we got 13 more to go until we get to uh, the conference tournament. But, but hopefully we keep playing well and we, we keep racking up some wins. Fans, this weekend, uh, he was talking, Coach Trapagan was talking about uh, last year's championship team. They won a, uh, a tournament title. They'll, there'll be an unveiling of a banner this weekend on Saturday night. And then uh, we, we play Upper Iowa at 6 p.m. on Friday and Winona State at 8 p.m., or excuse me, 6 p.m. on Saturday. Any quick thoughts on either of those games? Yeah, uh, both teams. I, I say uh, Upper Iowa is the best one team, one win team in the country. You know, you look at their scores every single game. I don't care if they're playing Mankato, Concordia, Winona, you know, and even ourselves when we played, we just couldn't pull away from them. Uh, coach is doing a f brand new coach doing a fantastic job. That they're a scary team. Uh, you know, everybody then will will turn around and play the league favorites. Uh, they were picked to win the league. Winona State. Um, we had a good game against them last time. Uh, came right down to the end of the game, and and they did what they're supposed to do um, at home and, and and knocked some big shots down late. Uh, one of their best players, uh, Kayla Timmerman really lit us up, uh, played a great basketball game against us, had 20 plus points and was the difference in, in the basketball game. So, you know, we'll need to play, we'll need to play well this weekend. If we, you know, we're not talking about splits this weekend, you know, when you're at home, if you want to be able to honestly say you want to be able to compete and maybe play for a conference championship, which we'll see if we're that good yet. I don't, I don't know, uh, but we've put ourselves in a position to at least talk about that. So our kids had a good couple of days of practice and we'll see how it goes this weekend. Thanks, Trap. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Dan.